Lucian Wintrich, White House Correspondence Reporter for the Gateway Pundit, held a speech at the University of Connecticut called It's Okay to Be White. As you would expect, there were people there to shut it down, as they found his ideas as hateful. Several articles have come out talking about this, accusing Lucian of espousing racialized rhetoric. We have seen this song and dance dozens of times this year. Many have been called a white supremacist this year, even people who aren't even white. For this reason, I don't buy the idea that he is racist in any way, at least not until I see some compelling evidence of that. If it is white supremacist rhetoric to say it's okay to be white, what does that say about Black Lives Matter? At the speech, there was an interruption at some point leading to the events seen in this clip here. You can clearly see one of the protesters for the event steal Lucian's notes, and he was not going to let that slide. Equal rights, am I right? I don't disagree with him for taking back his notes in the slightest, and more people should stand up for themselves in this way. I mean, do we expect the police to have intervened and gotten his notes back for him? Would this be okay in any setting? He would have literally had to have stopped the speech, not that it didn't get stopped after he got arrested. As far as I know, the woman who stole Lucian's property at this official speech at the university has not been charged with breaching the peace or anything of the sort, or even stealing, but Lucian has been charged with breaching the peace. As the articles began coming out, Lucian was quick to confront them on Twitter. This article by The Mirror claims in their headline, Far-right blogger given White House press pass by Trump arrested for assaulting student during speech. There are so many things wrong with the article headline, but after watching this clip in question for yourself, I think you can say why. I do not think that Trump personally hands out his press passes either. Phrases like racist, Nazi, fascist, and far-right, among many others, have been used far past the point where they had meaning. These terms are used to attempt to shame and silence people that the individual casting the accusation has deemed deplorable, for lack of a better term. This is the style of censorship used by the authoritarians who wish to dismiss all ideas alternative to theirs as not just wrong, but morally wrong as well. What they fail to realize is that their ideas will be considered deplorable when the tables turn, and they will then wish that they had not gotten rid of the protections for ideas and dissent when they were in the majority. Earlier, back in March, Lucian was grabbed by Fox correspondent John Decker by the arm as he loudly proclaimed to the room that the Gateway Pundit was there, a publication that hates Jews, blacks, minorities, and anything else that he pretended to champion. Lucian would later dismiss these claims that he is racist or a white supremacist, as John Decker was nice enough to volunteer Lucian's time to dedicate to relentlessly denying these thought crimes. Well, I don't know exactly how to end this video, so I just wanted to say, sometimes, things will just end. 